Brezzy, it's great to see you. Thanks for dropping in. Um, I suppose you could call it almost a, a baptism of fire, playing, um, playing Oxygen. Second live show, did you say? Second live show in two years, I think, apart from a few dodgy karaoke nights that I may have done. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's, it, it, it is, like, there's no point in lying. You will be, you'll always be apprehensive with, with something like that. Like, so. I think it'll be fine, you know. It's just I'm not usually a nervous person. And anyone that knows me knows I'm not, so it's kind of strange to actually feel them since my, I think my communion was the last time I was nervous. I well, it's a different thing, because I suppose with the blizzards, you're up there with your mates, your, your, your band, and uh, now suddenly you're up there with, well, with a band, but it, it, it is a different thing. And it's, it's, I suppose it's out of your comfort zone to a certain, ex to a certain extent, which is probably a good thing, I guess. But rather you than me, though. No, no, I mean, <laughs> I, it was really good having that confidence that I had with, with the guys. Like, these weren't guys I met in some pub. You know, when I was in college, these guys I grew up with, went to school with, and you know, were, was babysitted with. You know, these you know proper friendship, and you know, having that on stage is, is it's it's incredible. You can see it with bands like Kings of Leon. You can see that natural chemistry that you just can't create with, you know, people you you know you, you get in a band with. But the band I'm with at the moment are amazing. They're, they all end, they all ended up being Irish, which is hilarious. I auditioned like loads of different people. It's just I think in, over in London, Irish people like magnets towards each other. So yeah, no, the band are really 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 good, and they just kind of. You know, they know it's, it's different for me, and they kind of they try to accommodate that. The current single, Can't Stay Young Forever, is that, am I looking into that, is that a statement, or is it just, did it just happen to be kind of a, a handy title or a catchy title that you came up with for a song? No, it's just been, it, it been said to me, like it came from actually from getting a tattoo, the guy, the tattoo guy saying it to me, and like it had been through, you know, loads of people are taking totally different meanings out of the song, and that's what a song should be, you know, I know what my meaning is for that song. And, you know, I, I've just heard that so many times, people saying that, that they can't do this, they can't do that. And that's where it came from. And I mean, it's funny, I get people saying they use it as graduation songs, and you've other people saying <laughs> it depresses them. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Like, it's whatever what you want it to be. It certainly doesn't depress me, and that's not the meaning I had behind it. But everyone's saying it's a summer track. And I mean, I wrote that in November when our heating was broken in our apartment <laughs> in, in, in London. So it certainly didn't kind of, I didn't go for the, the, the summer jugular. Now, it really is all changed for you because you're based over in London now. Um, uh, how do you find that? It is a huge, huge, it's somewhere I love visiting, but it is a, just a metropolis of a place. I mean, I, when I first moved over, I just had this, like, I was just the typical paddy. I was, like, getting on the first tube that came and ended up in, you know, Birmingham or somewhere and just and realising I'm not, I'm not at home. But you get used to it. And you, it's very important if you move over there that you, you find people and you don't sit in your flat every Monday or Tuesday night. You go out and you meet people and... <clears throat> Most people in London are there for the same reason, and they, you know, they're, they're there because they're ambitious and they want to do something. So I found it very easy, and I had a great group of friends. But the, being the size of the place is, is intimidating. But for music and for production and for, you know, genre spectrum, like there's so many genres there, it's brilliant for someone like me. Are the blizzards done, or is there going to be a, is there going to be more <coughs> in the future? Um, like the way I, I look at it is like I'd love to do another album with them, but I wouldn't love to do it with, with a gun to my head, with no kind of, you know, record label, no kind of, you have to sell this, you have to do that. I'd love to make a record, just, you know, like, it's funny, where I, the roots of a lot of the blizzard stuff, like me and Deck were always into heavy metal when we were younger and stuff, like much heavier stuff, and you know, you always are. I'd love to make a record without having to worry about anything, and just not worry about, you know, and it's not that I worry about it, I, pop music is the core of what I do, and it's what I always loved, but I'd love to just do something totally out there with the guys whenever they're ready you know they're all here today if, you know at the gig with me they're all at my first gig on Wednesday so if anyone out there was going all Brezzy and the guys fell out they got it totally wrong it's a, it's a story <laughs> but uh, not a very truthful one um, uh, an album ha have you got one done and if, if you have when are we likely to hear it it's f well it's finished we've recorded and produced it it's been mixed at the moment in um, in, we're mixing it in a place called in Metrophonic Studios, and it's it's done. It took a long time, and you know it's obviously not doesn't sound anything like the Blizzards. So that was something I was aware of, and I produced it myself with well with another Irish guy, Jimbo Barry, and the two of us were very aware that when you're producing something, yeah, you have to have self belief in it because you don't have another person coming in with their third ear saying that has to change, that has to change. So yeah, we've done it, and you know I. I don't know, you know, I didn't think the single, I wasn't sure the single would drop the way it dropped, and I wasn't sure it would get the support it got, and it did, so I, I, I've learned, my experience has told me never to just presume, you have to just hope, and that's the music industry at the moment. Brilliant, well listen, uh, great to see you again, congratulations, and best of luck a little bit later on, we'll be out there watching. Cheers man, thanks.